In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a resizable movable control. The last one we just did um, movable, but I thought, you know, there might be cases where you need to make it resizable. And it's kind of a little bit of a trick, but it can be done. So um, that was a test one. We're going to start with a brand new project. Let's call it Dashboard Tiles. Uh, not dashboard tile, we'll call it resizable tile. So we'll use the same solution we were using or if you're new to this and did not see the last one just create a new project and a new solution because I'm going to give you all the code and tell you what's going on to refresh you. So I'm going to use the project that we already started and I'm going to call this resizable movable top. So we start with our form one, wrong one. First thing we do is we make sure this is set set as startup project. So that when we run it, it will just be that project. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to start with, I'm going to shut all these. We're going to start with the program that we just created in the last one, uh, the tile.cs file, just to help us out, save some typing. We're going to add some more typing to it, but we're just to help us out. And we're going to remove some things and take some things. So let's go ahead and to save typing, let's just take this whole thing and copy it. Right click, copy. And then in our new project, we'll go to here and right click. We're going to add a new class. And we're going to call this Tile. CS. And we're just going to replace all this code with what we had. And we're going to have to change the namespace to the, our current project. Let's change it to RESI Resizable Movable Tile. That's what we want. That just saves us a little bit of work. We're going to take the move direction out. We're not going to use this property. I don't think we used it in the last one. Um, I might be mistaken about taking that out. The direction, we're going to take that out. We might have to add those back in. Okay, I'm going to take that out. We're going to leave our events. We're going to leave the window messages. And in case this is inherited from tile, or excuse me, I'm sorry, panel. It's inherited from panel. But you could use picture box or anything else you wanted if you to make it resizable. And if you recall, we added a label to the top of it. And um we're just going to take this code out because we didn't really need it because we did not pass it that we could have, but we didn't. We're going to make all of our tiles work with any direction. So we don't need that. Okay. So let's take, uh, let's start it so that we can get the uh, toolbox working. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take our tile and drag over there, just so we'll have one. And you know, we can add a tag. Let's just go ahead and add some text here. There we go. Text here, we added some text there. And we can add a background image too if we had one. Um, let's go ahead and do that real quick, okay? Um, 
Open up your properties. Open up your resources. And then from there, go to images. And then just take any old image that you find that you like. Let's say pictures. Anything we want. Um, this too looks just fine and dandy to me. So, let's just go ahead and drag this over there. See how we like that. Let's see. Okay, we got us a picture. Then, we can put the background image here. Background image. Okay, uh, let's change the layout to something that will show it. Center, nope. Zoom, okay, looks good. Now we can move this. And this one right now will move for us, and that's all. Will not resize, I mean, we can resize it in here if we want, but when we run it, we can't, like, we can resize that if we want, but when we run it, it will not resize, because all it will do is move. And we also need to do our tile moved event. Tile mood function. So let's go over here to the form one. And we're going to say tile one. Uh oh. Tile mood. Uh, object. Let's see if this is going to work for us. Let's see. Um, this refresh. Let's see if that works for us now. You know, in the last one, I did it different. I did the. Um, um, it's not like in Cinder, is it? Let's see how we did these. I typically do those different, but I wanted to do it this way. And since it's not like in Cinder, let's say Cinder 1 and E1. There we go. That's the reason I do it the other way. So, okay, this is going to work fine. Now then, we add in our things for our sizable. So, we don't need that anymore. Uh, we don't need this anymore. So let's move this to the top. So I'm going to right click copy and get rid of that. And I'm going to move it to the top. Control V. Now I'm going to say bool. I'm going to say resizing equals false. And I'm going to say bool. Resized equals false, and then I'm going to say um, I'm going to have to look over here. I can't remember exactly. We're going to say bool is um, I'm going to open this up so it'll help me see. Okay, so. Because it was a lot to type. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're just going to copy this in. Control copy. That way, you guys don't have to sit with me while I debug it. So, Control V. So, we've got uh, resizing, similar to the dragging. We got resized, similar to dragged. We've got mouse is in left edge. That's uh, 
the left edge and we've got right edge, top edge, bottom edge. We've got this cursor start point and we've got cursor start size. Okay, now then on paint we're leaving visible chain alone and if you want to we can put these in regions if we want but we're not right now. We're leaving paint alone, we're leaving mouse down. Um, we might do something with mouse down. I can't remember if I did anything like that or not. Yes, we do do something on mouse down. First, we have to find out, copy. First, we find out if it's in this these edges. And then we check if it is. So if is left edge or mouse is right edge or mouse is top edge or mouse is bottom edge we're going to do something else we're not else it means we're going to start dragging but we're going to capture no matter what uh oh I'm going to go ahead and format these real quick. Okay. So if it's one of those, we're going to say resizing is false. And we're going to say, no, sorry about that. I got that reversed. It's true. And then we're going to say resized is false. And then we're going to get our cursor start point and cursor start size. So we're going to say cursor start point equals e new point e e x comma e y and I'm going to check this with my code as soon as I'm done because I'm doing this from memory and this next one is cursor start size or what do we call that current start size equals this size okay let's see if that's what we got Yep, that's what we got. Now, this here, I'm going to copy and paste it in because it's just a lot of code. And some of the code, we didn't need all these curly brackets, but I went ahead and left them in case we, you decide you want to type something else in there. Basically, all this is doing is going to change your cursor so you can tell what you're doing. And I'll show you what that is. Control copy. And then the bottom part is the other part that we've got. So, so we've decided since it's in one of those edges when we did the mouse down that we're going to start resizing and it's not already resized. And we've got our current start point was is the cursor X and Y and we've got the current start size is the control size. So if the mouse is on the left edge, it checks whether it's on the top edge too, like in that corner, and then we'll have a uh, change the cursor to this uh, this size NWSE, and it, that's all we're doing. This is not absolutely necessary, but it kind of helps you a little bit. So, let me just add a region real quick. Let's paint. That way we can collapse it. We're just gonna C H A N G D. These are so we can collapse them. Okay. And we can do the variables too, but we're not gonna collapse those.
because we might want to look at them. Variables. Okay, now our mouse down. Okay, we've dealt with everything that we're going to deal with on mouse down. We've decided it was sized in and then we've changed the cursor. So we're going to, we are going to add a region for that and collapse it too. That'll just make it easier for us to see. Okay, now we're going to deal with the mouse up. Now the mouse up, that's to tell us um, what we're going to do, whether we're going to pull a context menu up, which we don't have one attached to this, but we could, or whatever we're going to do. So. Go ahead and put that in region since it's getting kind of big. Okay, so on the mouse up, we're going to say dragging false and this captured false, and that's fine. We're going to say resizing equals false. Um, now, another thing we're going to do, we're going to move this to the bottom. Okay. We're going to say else, and on this we're going to say if drag or resize, and I look like I got a typo there, or, okay, e, l, else drag or resize, else. See, before we just had two conditions, now we've got three. So if it's dragged or resized, we want to do the time mood function because we want it to redraw that shadow. Otherwise, we're going to check to see if it's right clicked or left clicked. And, you know, you can have your context menu or you can do something. And I'm pretty sure that's all we did on this one. Let me check my code. Yep, that's how we did. Okay, now mouse move, that's going to be quite a bit of fun code. So let's go ahead and set up our region, and then we'll go over that. So, okay. I'm going to make this smaller real quick, because see what I've got in there. And it load. Okay, that's fine. We can leave that there. Okay, now on the mouse move, so if it's dragging, we're just going to move it. But if it's not, if it's resizing, we're going to do something else. If it's resizing, we're going to do something else. And so we will say else if dragging. And it is quite a bit of code for the resizing. It's not complicated, basically. Uh, we just have to change the width. So let's go ahead and just copy that in. We've got the dragging. Okay. So I said resizing first or dragging. This one, I said dragging first. It doesn't really matter the order. So let's go ahead and add these and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay. Okay. Cop Control C to copy that. Now I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to give you all this code. Control V to cop paste it in. Okay. So if it's resizing on the mouse move, we're going to say resized equals false. Um, that means it hasn't been resized yet. And then we decide on mouse, um, let's see, resizing equals false. Uh, did I move something? Let's see. That means we're done resizing. Okay. Resizing equals false. Okay, on the if resizing 
resized equals false. That means we're still doing it. Now we check if it's the left edge and if it's and if it's the left edge we're going to do these things. We're going to say with the top we're going to add the width to the current position and basically you would just copy these in. You're check, changing the width and the left position and the height and the top position. And if that's at the top edge and at the bottom edge you're changing these positions too. And a lot of times you will get this code off the internet like code project or something. And that's where I got this. Except it was different. And I revised it. I found this and this was different. This moved any control but I got the the code from it and this revised it for us to do what we want to do. And typically that's what you're going to do most of the time anytime you come up with kind of a new uh, problem. Because just starting out you're not going to know exactly what all to do. So we just move it. We change the height and width of it based on what it's doing. So let's see if this is works for us or if I forgot some code. And I will put the link also to that code project too so you can see that. So we're moving it. Uh oh, I goofed up. No, I didn't. And then I changed it to like within five points of the mouse down. The original code said like, um, said like, um, two points. Well, that was just too much of a margin for me to have to deal with. So this is all we've got. I'm going to give you the code for my pro program that I did and I'm going to give you the link to the code project and you can compare them. And I didn't really look at the code project that much because uh, I kind of knew what I was looking for. And getting in these corners here, uh, like it is a little tricky getting in the corner, but it can be done. And you can give it more than five characters too. You know, let's say that if um, you think that's just not a, enough room for you. What you would do is over here on the mouse down, you would check instead of five, you would check ten or eight. Uh, the original program checked for two. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep watching for new videos. And we'll do something again fun next week. Bye.